Hi friends, welcome to Toddler Time. I'm Miss Kara, and today we're gonna to talk about the story of the ant and the grasshopper. So this is a very old story, and you're probably gonna hear it a lot. So we have here our ant, you see him? And our grasshopper. You might have seen ants and grasshoppers out this summer when you were outside. Now that it's fall and it's a little bit colder, we don't see them so much, huh? Yeah. So in this story, the ant and the grasshopper are friends. And all summer long, the grasshopper would lay around in the sunshine and he would play music and he was really enjoying himself. Meanwhile, he watched his friend Ant hurry back and forth and back and forth with big bags of food to store up for the winter time because grasshoppers can't go to the grocery store when winter comes. They have to prepare ahead of time. And so grasshopper says to the ant, why are you in such a hurry? Why don't you just enjoy this beautiful weather? And the ant says to the grasshopper, if I don't get the food now while the food is good, I won't have anything to eat all winter long. And the grasshopper says, okay, you do you, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful weather. So summer turns to fall and then fall turns to winter and ant is at home with all of their brothers and sisters, look at all these ants, enjoying the delicious food that they managed to save up over the summer. And they hear a knock at their door and it's Grasshopper and Grasshopper says, can you let me in? It is so cold and I am so hungry because I didn't save up any food at all. And the ants, say to the grasshopper, this is what we were telling you. You need to save up. You need to prepare for winter. And the grasshopper says, please let me in. And the ants talk amongst themselves and they decide, okay, grasshopper, you can come in with us, but next summer, you're gonna have to help us get food for the winter. And grasshopper says, yes, of course. Thank you so much. And people like to say that the moral of this story is don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. So that means if you got stuff to get done, you should just get it done. So Mr. Grasshopper's gonna hop right off here. Bloop, 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 say bye Mr. Grasshopper. And we've got our little ants here and I'm gonna move them up the board a little bit because we need them to go in a line. All right, how many ants do we have? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five hungry ants marching in a line. See what that is? That's a salad. And here's a cake. I do like cake. And do you know what this is? This is pepper. Can you see that? There we go. So five hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic where they could dine. They crawled into the salad. They crawled into the cake. They crawled into the pepper. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm gonna sneeze, you ready? Ah, 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 chew! He sneezed so hard he fell right off the board. Now how many ants do we have? One, two, three, four. Four hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 chew! Now how many ants do we have? One, two, three. Can you show me three? Three hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh, that was a mistake. Are you gonna sneeze with me? Ready, we're gonna go, ah, 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 choo! Uh-oh, how many ants do we have now? One, two. 
two hungry ants marching in a line. They came across a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Well, how many ants do we have now? Oh, just one. One lonely ant marching in a line. He came across a picnic where he could dine. He marched into the salad. He marched into the cake. He marched into the pepper. That was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Well, how many ants do we have now? I don't see any ants. We have zero ants. No ants at all. That's probably the right number of ants for a picnic. Oh my goodness, let's put away our pepper and our cake and our salad, all delicious things. And we're gonna do a scarf song. So can you get out a scarf? If you don't have a scarf, you can use a dish towel or a washcloth or a napkin or a piece of fabric or a scarf that you would wear around your neck. Any one of those things would work for a scarf for a little scarf song. All right. So we're gonna go side to side. Can you go side to side? Excuse me. All right, side to side, side to side. And then we're gonna go around in a circle. Can you go around in a circle? Can you go around the other way? Oh, good job. And then we're gonna go up and down. All right, so we're gonna go. Wind is blowing, wind is blowing. Now circle. All around, all around. Gently, gently blowing, gently, gently blowing. All around, all around. We're gonna do that again, you ready? Wind is blowing, wind is blowing. All around. All around, gently, gently blowing, gently, gently blowing, all around, all around. Good job. Okay. Put that away, put that away. All right, let's talk about our at home activity. This is called Things I Like and Things I Dislike. So we're going to need two pieces of paper. And we're going to need a pair of scissors, child safety scissors. The younger you can get them started on using scissors, the better, because this is one of the top complaints of kinder kindergarten teachers, that children come in and they don't know how to use scissors. So it's fingers on the, so you're gonna make a little fingers on the bottom, thumb on top, and then your thumb does the work. Open up the mouth and go chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. And it does take a little bit of work to get those muscles going. So we got our paper, we got our scissors, we need our glue stick. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to use old magazines or catalogs, or I like to use the ads that come in your mailbox on Wednesdays for the grocery stores. Um, and we're gonna have one paper for things I like, and our other paper is gonna be for things that I dislike. And what this is going to do is going to reinforce uh, differences, and it's also gonna help your little ones to communicate their wants and their needs, because it's easy to tell people what you don't like, but we also wanna know what you do like. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna have them look at the grocery store paper or the catalog or the magazine and when they see something that they do like, they're gonna practice cutting with their scissors and then they're gonna glue it on their paper. And then when they see something that they don't like, practice cutting with their scissors and then glue that on the dislike paper. So make sure that you keep these two separate. So we're just building those communication skills. We're working on our fine motor skills with um, our scissors and we are teaching them how to um, differentiate between things that they enjoy and things that they don't enjoy. And you can also take this opportunity to talk with them about 
how you might have different opinions on things and it's okay for people to like and dislike different things, which will make them going to school and being around other kids a little bit easier if they go in understanding that not everybody likes the same stuff. So thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.